let's now talk about making circle arc and rectangle and I'll start with circle so I'm going to use the circle tool from sketch tab so here we have the circle tool and if you click this arrow you'll see that we have two different ways of making the circle I'll use the first one and I'll start with the plane so I'll select front plane and now let's make the first circle so I'll use this origin and using this as a center I'll just make the circle that's it you need only these two points now we have a circle of approximately 32 unit here you can specify the radius value right now right here if you want to for example I'll type 30 and press enter and this will change or you can also specify this radius value later using the dimension tool so in this case I leave the circle and I'll press escape all right now let's go to the second option so I'll go to this and I'll select the perimeter circle now in this case we need three points for making this circle so I'll just click on first point here here goes the second point and here goes the third point so basically it will make a circle that will pass through three points once again if you want to specify a radius here you can do so or you can do that later using dimension now let's talk about creating arcs so I'll just move it aside and then we have the arc tool here and if you click this arrow you'll see all the three arc tools that we can use let's start with center point arc now as the name suggests you need to start with center point so I'll click at a point and that's going to become the center now I'll click here and we have the arc now I'm moving my arc in anti-clockwise direction so it's making it in this direction but if however you just move it in the clockwise direction it will make it in that direction too so here I'll just move it in anti-clockwise and I'll click here and we have the arc now we don't need to go back to all the other tools again because these tools are already available for us here so now if you want to start making something else some other kind of arc then you can select it from here so the second type of arc is tangent arc and the tangent arc will basically make an arc which is tangent to existing geometry so for making this arc you need an existing geometry in this case we already have this arc and you can use this not only with arc but also with lines and other things so here I'll just click on this endpoint and now we'll have a tangent here now this arc will remain tangent with the arc that we started with the arc which we used as a reference but also you can change that so in this case though it is tangent if I move my cursor back to this point and if I start in this direction look at this it will become tangent but now in an opposite way so if I click now just look at this this and this they are tangent but now in this direction so you can change the direction simply by moving your arc so again now in this case you can see that it is completely perpendicular to the point where I started this with so I'll move back here and when I move it away from that here it is now it's tangent I'll go to this point again and I'll move here and again it's tangent I'll go here and now I'll move it out like this and it is kind of like perpendicular at that exact point so depending on where you start your arc from it will be either tangent or perpendicular and the direction of tangency will also change so I'll just keep on making and here we have it to exit out of this press escape now finally the third type of arc which is three point and basically you just need three points for this so the first point the second point and the third point somewhere here and we have got the three point arc now once again let's move it aside and let's now talk about rectangles and there are several different ways of making rectangle and if you click this arrow right beside this you'll see actually five different ways and four of these are for rectangle and the last one is for a parallelogram which is very similar to rectangle of course so I'll start with corner rectangle now in this case we need two diagonally opposite points so I'll click on first point here and the second point here and just by specifying these two points we were able to make this rectangle now let's go to the second one which is the center rectangle so I'll select it from here and then I'll click at a point and that point will be the center of rectangle 
Now if I move out, you'll see that we now have two diagonals and also the rectangle will be made accordingly. Now the advantage of this rectangle is, well, very basic. In this case, you can use these diagonals as references and you can even dimension them later using this smart dimension tool. All right, let's press escape. Let's see what we have next, three point rectangle. So basically you need three points for this. So first point, well, I'll just make second point here then third point here and we have the three point rectangle. So first two points will define the direction of your rectangle and the third point will just specify the height of your rectangle. Then we have three point rectangle but in this case the first point will be the center. So it's kind of like this arc which is made with this diagonal but it will be made with three point instead of two. So again maybe I'll just make one here. So first point and second point now this point will be along the center of the rectangle so i'll click here and now look at this when i move out it is basically just making my rectangle using the first point here and the second point right here now i just need to specify the third point and we'll make the rectangle and finally the parallelogram so in this case it will make well the parallelogram where the opposite sides will be parallel so the first point second point and you can specify the third point to make that parallelogram and here it is that's the parallelogram opposite sides they are parallel and that's how you can create these three basic geometries the circle arc and rectangle